Hi, this is Ryan Kingsling. I want to show you how to use contacts in ZBrush 4. There are two gotchas about this, uh, really important gotchas, and just a small bit of a workflow that you have to keep in mind when you're using this. So, first thing to know is that contacts has its own subpalette, and you can learn a lot about it by just pressing Control to get the pop-up help and hovering over one of the interface items. And we're going to actually use the example that they give here with the uh, elbow and the glove. So the primary thing that we're going to do now, cut that. So we need to isolate the glove and the body. And we're going to keep the glove selected. This is going to be our selected source mesh. And we are going to use action lines to create um, connections between the glove and the body. Just go into move, scale, or rotate, doesn't matter. And drag from the glove to the body. Then come down to contacts, press C1, C2, and C3. So we've stored three points, which is really important um, to getting the best translation possible. Now, we're going to come into the soldier's body. We're going to lower the subdivision level, rotate, drag out an action line, create the bone for the ulna, and then just rotate that up. And here's where the first gotcha comes into effect. We would want to select the glove and press apply. But if you do that, you might not get the results that you want. The reason why is because the vertices that we used to create our uh, connections might not exist at this lower subdivision level. So we need to come back to the subtool of the body, increase its resolution to the level at which we created our contact points come back to the glove and press apply. Everything's going to work out just fine then. The other thing to note is that those contact points aren't necessarily following us. So you're going to want to create them. You know, each time you make a movement just for the most uh, stability. So if I wanted to rotate this forearm, I might come into the glove, I'm sorry, the body my general process is to mask, say, half of that forearm, put the bone in there, and rotate it. Now if I come into the glove and do that, press apply, or let's make sure we're at the subdivision level that we needed. That's our first got you. Back to the glove, hit apply, and it doesn't quite turn out right. So undo that, undo the rotation of the forearm, and let's establish new contact points. Back in the glove, deleting all those contact points. Going to go into move, draw action line from here to here. That's control point one, control point two, and control point three. Now we come back into the body. Draw out our bone. Rotate the arm, the wrist, the forearm, that looks like it's broken it. And then uh, let's make sure we're at the right subdivision level. Come into the glove, hit apply. Now everything's working just fine. So we may have to do some sculpting to adjust this but that's just going to be par for the course. So the important things to keep in mind, 
you need to have the subdivision levels the same before you use apply because contact is connecting to vertices and those vertices need to exist before you apply it um, and then the other thing to keep in mind is that the contact points are not really going to follow us through as we move the the body around so you're going to want to create contact points from scratch each time for the most stability so i hope you enjoy